coming up next, my first impression of the just new, newly released Oud edition from Montal. This one could be special. Find out my thoughts coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose and today doing a first impression of one of the newest from Montal. This is Oud Edition. And I talked recently, I did a video recently about three of my favorite new perfumes that have come out in the last you know, couple months. And Blue Matcha was on that list from Montal, which I absolutely love. If you like matcha green tea type of uh, you know, fragrance or you know, it, it is one of those just, I think, really unusual, great offerings from Montal. But this one also, I gotta say, is very interesting. And if you read about it, Pierre Montal, the founder of, of Mon Montal House, basically this is an ode to his first love, and it's trying to create a timeless fragrance based around, of course, Oud, thus the name Oud Edition. And this one, they talk about it as having, you know, kind of a lot of the signature notes that Montal uses in their mini fragrances. For those of you that are fans of this house, obviously have these kind of like cylinder, cylinder-like metallic, almost looking like a missile, uh, you know, um, perfume bottles that are very unique and I think very uh, great branding for the house. But some of the signature notes, they do do a lot of oud fragrances. They do a lot of rose fragrances. They do a lot of sandalwood and incense fragrances. If you go and look through there, are many, and they put up, Montal probably puts out as many or, many or more new fragrances every year than any other niche house that I know. I mean, they put out a lot. And you know what, sometimes it can be overwhelming. For me, I can say sometimes they put out a new one, I start to smell it, and before I can really kind of get into it, another one comes out. So you gotta really pick and choose and find the ones you like. And I think this is gonna be one of those fragrances like Blue Matcha to me that stands out and will most likely be going into my personal collection. Uh, so the notes that I just mentioned and that they really highlight in this fragrance, again, as I hold the can up there, are gonna be leather, rose, sandalwood, incense, of course, oud, and a really sexy, musky accord. Now remember, this is a tribute to his first love, so this is gonna be a very sensual oud fragrance. Oud and rose, two classic combinations. You almost always see, or at least I would venture to say over 50%, maybe 60, 70% of the time when you see an oud fragrance, you see rose mixed in there because it can kind of, you know, tamp down a little bit for the people who are, you know, a little bit maybe I guess skeptical or a little bit <laughs> nervous of a strong oud, oud component. But let me put it right here. I'm gonna spray it on my arm, inside of my arm, and give it a whiff here, a first impression for you guys. So I'm smelling it right now for the first time, right here today. And yeah, I, I love it because right off the bat, First of all, Montal is one of those houses that like Parfums de Marly or Serjoff or, uh, you know, I guess uh, any of the real, Nikolai, like a BDK, those fragrances that when you smell it, Initio, you smell it, you, you smell the DNA in, in the house. You know it's a Montal. So this is, right off the bat, you know it's a Montal. But what I really like about this is this leather oud combination. Leather to me, I've talked about this before, I've been training, learning to make my own perfumes, and I put this kind of leather, agarwood, or oud combination that works extremely well. Also tobacco, by the way. Tobacco and leather are two notes that really complement each other very well. This has got this beautiful kind of leather, it's got the creaminess from the sandalwood, which, which keeps it from going too dark. Um, and, and maybe too intense, because again, this is supposed to be a tribute to his first love. And incense, frankincense, incense, one of the most, of course, classic fragrance notes of all time, going back to biblical or even pre-biblical times for religious ceremonies, frankincense, myrrh, of course. Um, but 
This is, yeah, this is gonna be a winner, especially when you look at the price, 100 milliliters, $170, you know, US retail. It's still, I think, one of the best values out there if you like niche fragrance. And I know for a fact that this one just came in in the last couple weeks here to Osme and it's already sold out. So hopefully if you're going to the website now after watching this and trying to buy it, they may have it. If not, you know, call them and find out when it's coming back in because this is, you know, it's gonna be one of those ones that flies in and off the shelf, I'm sure very quickly, but will be replenished. So there you have it, my first impression of Oud Edition. As I said, I think it's a winner. I recommend it, I like it. I'll be adding to my own personal collection and I think it's a great, sexy, leather, oud, incense, musky fragrance, but not animalic. It's not, interestingly enough, this is not an animalic fragrance. This is, it go, it stops just short of that. It's like he took it right up to that edge and then kind of just somehow with his magic kept it in this more neutral, sexy realm rather than that kind of animalic realm for those of you who don't like animalic fragrances. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll be back soon, of course, with another video coming here from Osme Perfumery in Miami. I appreciate all your support. And uh, let me hear, have you guys smelled this one yet? If you have, let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Peace, love, and perfumes.